The history of these drives began a long time ago. In June 1956, IBM developed the first commercial hard drive. It had a memory capacity of about 5 megabytes and was enormous in size, but at that time, it was revolutionary. IBM gradually tried to make the drive smaller while accommodating more memory, and they did a great job until 1976. In that year, hard disk drives faced real competition. Dataram introduced the bulk core drive, which is considered the precursor to solid-state drives. The main distinction of these drives was that they had no mechanical components, and data access was much faster, just 2 milliseconds. The solution seemed promising, but there was one downside. This type of memory was extremely expensive, making it seem impractical. The next breakthrough came in 1980 when Sugar Technology introduced the ST506 drive. It provided the same storage capacity as the IBM 350 from 1956, but came in a miniature 5.25-inch format and weighed only 3.2 kilograms. It could fit into early PC cases. The ST506 was a market success, and Shugart is now known as Seagate. Over time, companies continued creating more capacious drives while striving to make them as compact as possible. Today, we have small drives that can hold enormous amounts of gigabytes, sometimes even terabytes, and the world's largest drive has a capacity of 30 terabytes. Let's move on to comparisons. One of the main differences between solid-state drives and hard disk drives is their operating principle. The operation of hard disk drives is based on magnetic data recording. When data is written to the disk, the heads create a magnetic field that modifies the state of molecules on the platters, storing the information. When reading data, the heads detect magnetic changes and transmit the information to the computer. The operation principle of solid-state drives is different. They consist of multiple NAND flash memory chips that store information. Next to them are a controller and DRAM memory. The controller handles communication between the drive and the computer and performs read jachash write operations, while DRAM acts as a small cache, speeding up data access. Let's turn to the advantages of hard disk drives. Hard disk drives have no limit on write cycles. The magnetic cells do not wear out over time which is a key difference from solid-state drives. The lifespan of solid-state drives is limited to 200 to 500 write cycles. Under heavy computer use, this equates to 2 to 3 years of operation before replacement is needed. The lifespan of hard disk drives depends only on the mechanical components, 5 to 10 years for standard models. Another advantage is that if a disk is damaged, it's possible to recover 80% of the data within 1 to 2 days. Additionally, even after complete data deletion, it's possible to restore the information within one to two days of deletion. Another important factor is price. Hard disk drives are significantly cheaper than solid-state drives for the same amount of storage. Now, let's discuss the advantages of solid-state drives. Solid-state drives have no mechanical components, making them more resistant to temperature fluctuations, falls, and impacts compared to hard disk drives. Solid-state drives also do not overheat and consume 5 to 10 times less electricity under high loads compared to hard disk drives. Regarding capacity, the maximum capacity of professional hard disk drives is 20 terabytes, primarily used in surveillance systems and server storage. For the average user, a 1 terabyte capacity is usually sufficient. As for solid-state drives, professional models with capacities up to 8 terabytes and consumer models up to 2 terabytes are available on the market. If you are wondering whether to choose a solid-state drive or hard disk drive for gaming, the choice is clear. Due to their speed, silent operation, and low temperature, solid-state drives are an excellent choice. Solid-state drives are most commonly used in personal computers because massive amounts of storage are often unnecessary and they are valued for their speed. However, large companies still actively use hard drives. Although they write and process data more slowly, their advantages are their capacity and the ability to recover lost data. It's impossible to definitively say which is better, solid-state drive or hard disk drive, as these drives are used for different purposes. The choice depends on the tasks you need to perform. 
affordable and capacious hard disk drives are suitable for storing infrequently used files, such as documents, photos, or videos. It's also better to save important information that cannot be downloaded again on hard disk drives, as data recovery is often possible with hard disk drives, whereas recovery from solid-state drives is not always guaranteed. If data exchange speed is a priority, choose solid-state drives for the operating system, active programs, or games.